Are you sick and tired of dealing with socket issues, poor fit due to sweat, constantly adding plies of socks because your limb is just like fluctuating, not even from day to day, but throughout one single day? Sores, hot spots, suspension systems failing. There is one solution that blows all of those out of the water. Osseo integration. And here is why I would never do it. Osseo integration, for whatever reason, is still like a taboo mm -hmm. topic. It's like you mention it and people have very strong feelings about it. The truth is though, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And I kind of want to set the record straight here, but I want to begin by saying I am not an expert on osseo integration. I clearly don't have it myself. So I can't speak from a firsthand perspective. If you would like to hear a firsthand perspective, I will link her account below. Slim Jenny on Instagram has had osseo integration and talks about it, educates everybody on it from a firsthand perspective. This is a really common question that I get. People think that having a bone anchored prosthesis is painful. Infection is always a risk, but there is a lower risk with the Integrum Oprah implant system because of... If you really want to know more about it, I would go to her page. And like I said, I will link that below. One of the questions to answer is what is osseointegration? It is a bone anchored prosthesis. So it completely eliminates your socket. Your prosthesis goes directly, attaches directly to your bone. It's implanted into your body. And I have heard really great things like the fit. You're not relying on the soft tissue of a residual limb. So if you're having any sort of fluctuations in your leg, it's not going to matter because you're attached directly to bone. So that will eliminate any sort of having to add sock plies or feeling too tight in your socket. It also obviously eliminates sweat because you're not wearing a liner anymore. You are connected directly to bone. So you're not gonna have any sweat issues in your liner because you're not wearing a liner. Not wearing a liner is also going to eliminate skin irritation. So quite a few amputees deal with heat rash or some sort of sores on their skin because let's face it, our skin isn't meant to be in non-breathable silicone all day long, but that's just the reality of being an amputee. So there's a lot of pros to it. So why wouldn't I get it? I can't. So my x-ray will show that I was actually born with tibia hemamelia and my tibia never grew in. And for a below the knee amputee, osseointegration, they go directly into your tibia. And so I don't really have a tibia for them to anchor the prosthesis to. So I just physically cannot do osseo integration. However, if for whatever reason I needed a revision surgery down the road, which is unfortunately a possibility, and I became an above the knee amputee, I would very seriously consider osseo integration because I do deal with sores and sweat and because my anatomy is kind of messed up inside of my prosthesis. So I don't even have, you know, I don't have my tibia. There's certain muscles and ligaments that just aren't there because they never grew. Um, I was born with limb difference and then I experienced limb loss. And so inside my prosthetic, I am doing a lot of work because what is there is kind of empty. <laughs> There's stuff missing internally. So osseointegration, I just think would be a great solution for me if I had the right bone structure. I think people have this idea that osseointegration has only been around for like the last year or so, or maybe you think the last five years. The first osseointegration for 
weight bearing limb procedures was done in the 1990s, actually 1990 to be specific. So that's older than I am. Um, <laughs> and so it's been around for a long time. So I stated that the first bone anchored prosthesis osseointegration for weight bearing was done in 1990, but osseointegration in general, bone anchored implants have been around well before that. Dental implants are osseointegration and those have been around since like the 1940s. And so this idea of anchoring a prosthesis to our bone has been around for years. Another benefit of osseointegration is sensory feedback. So what that means is they can experience tactile sensations through their prosthesis, through muscles, joints, um, coming up through their implant. They just have a much better sense of where they're placing their foot, which I could, I could definitely see because as tight of a suspension system as you get, I would say maybe like vacuum seal would be like the tightest suspension I've experienced. Um, there's just nothing like that prosthesis actually being incorporated into your anatomy. I mean, it is drilled into your bone. So I would, I would agree based on my background in um, biomedical engineering, I actually did study um, human biomechanics. So implants was a big part of that. And, you know, you're going to get a lot more feedback from something that is incorporated into your anatomy than something that is not. Osseointegration has also shown to improve walking speed and walking stability. So there's actually a walking test for amputees and it is called the timed up and go tug test. And it is used to measure physical mobility, assess risk of falls, and predict prosthetic non-use in prosthetic wearing patients with lower limb amputation. Basically, they did it with amputees who wear a more traditional socket style and with those that were using osseointegrated prosthetics. And the osseointegrated prosthetics had more stability and they completed the test 20% faster than the traditional prosthetic wearer. So I'll link this study below. Um, it just was really interesting that, you know, not only does it maybe feel better, you're avoiding the musculoskeletal soft tissue issues um, that we mentioned earlier, but you're also walking faster and you're feeling more stable and you're feeling the ground beneath you a lot more. You're getting that sensory feedback from your device a lot more than you do with a traditional socket. So take that with a grain of salt. There's drawbacks to osseointegration as well, but I wanted to kind of talk about the positives because I think a lot of people see those negatives and then just think, okay, osseointegration is not for me. And it may be a very viable option. No matter what, any sort of prosthetic you're deciding, whether if you're deciding on suspension system like pin and lock versus vacuum, um, if you're thinking maybe you need a different style sleeve, if you're thinking whatever, if you're thinking of osseointegration, all of that, talk to your prosthetist, talk to your general care practitioner, they're going to know what's going to work best for your body, um, but it's worth a conversation. 